Hey everybody, Dan Holston here, helping your business take flight. This week, I want to help you understand who your next critical hire is going to be and when you should hire them, so stick around. So we're talking about critical hires and when to hire them. So first of all, let's define what is a critical hire. Well, it's somebody that's, that when you bring them on board, they're going to relieve you from having to do things that are keeping you in the weeds. In other words, they're going to give you maximum leverage so you can focus on the strategic and that which is most important for you to scale your business. That could be things like supporting your team in certain aspects. It could be some functions that the business volume is taking too much of your time and you need to get it off of your plate. You know, as you're growing your business, you have to look more narrowly. You can't do it all. You can't go a mile wide and an inch deep. You've got to, you're going to be working a lot still, but you've got to get rid of some tasks. You've got to really stay focused. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to move your organization forward. So who is this person that we're going to bring on board? Well, it's going to be someone that's got a proven track record of doing what you need done. They're going to have a great cultural fit for your company, maybe experience in your industry, but maybe outside of your industry so they have a fresh perspective. But they're going to be able to get the job done and not have to get trained up. Well, they have to be onboarded, of course, but they need to have a proven track record of doing what you need done. Now, the timing. When do we hire this individual? Well, probably yesterday. I find most business owners wait too long to bring somebody on because they get to a point where they just can't do it anymore and they're feeling the pain of being stretched and then they, they make a hiring decision that might be ineffective. They might hire somebody that doesn't have all the skills and abilities and attributes they need because they're under so much pressure to just to get that person on board. So if you're starting to feel a little bit of overwhelm or if you're finding yourself getting stretched a little bit thin, it's probably time right now to start identifying the skills, abilities, attributes of this ideal critical hire, the role, and start canvassing, start recruiting for this individual now. It may take some time to get them. Okay, we don't want to find ourselves in that time crunch where we just have to get a body, anybody in. We want to make sure that we're super excited about the person that we're bringing on board. They're a great fit, and after a bit of training and onboarding, they're going to be able to do what you need them to do so you can now focus on the strategic. Now, one final little note. When you bring somebody on board, your time is not going to be freed up right away. You're going to be training them. You're going to be checking in with them. They may be job shadowing. Right? They are going to be taking up a little bit more of your time. So you're going to have to kind of work through some of that discomfort, knowing that on the other side of that, after a month or two or three, they're going to be fully functional on their own. You could be now be relying on them as a strategic asset and an awesome team member in your business. I hope this has been helpful. I'd uh, love to hear your comments around critical hires and timing. Feel free to share in the comments below. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, uh, please connect with me. If you're seeing this on YouTube, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Feel free to share and leave a comment below. Love to hear from you. So have a fantastic week and we'll catch you next time. See ya.